Hey, what's going on everyone? DVSF here. And today I have a really special video for you guys since even though I made two tutorials on how to install mods, none of them had uh, uh, commentary. So today I will be explaining to you in more depth on how to install mods on the game. Well, you actually don't install mods, you just run the game with the mods on top and it's basically not a mod it's like a skin or a suit like my other videos so what you need is two things apart from spider-man of course what you need is text mod this I will be including a link in the description where to get that and the other thing you need is a suit and in this video I will be using the PS4 black suit of my of one of my previous videos if I'm not mistaken however you can find more suits on this website right here so it might be in Russian but it's not that hard I will be including that link in the description below basically you all you have to do is load, like open it uh, find your mod almost every mod has uh, pictures Below. So, even though it's in Russian, you will not have any trouble because it's really easy. You just see the mod if you want it. You hit that button and it starts downloading and stuff like here. It's really easy. Like, after you download it, you just take the file, you drop it on your desktop or wherever. Um, you run the text mod file. You click here to select an application. And this is really important. You go to your Amazing Spider-Man 2 directory where the game is installed and you find the game uh, file. Not the launcher, not the uninstall, the game file. You click open, then you click on that little folder icon here and you choose the, the suit you want to run the game onto. So, after after that is configured you just click run and uh, the suit should be uh, should be working now after I show you how the suit works I will um, I, I will let you know how to go through some errors that will not will, will prevent the suit from showing up since I have been, I've been having a lot of complaints that, um, yeah, the, the suits don't work. There's a few ways to troubleshoot that. It's really easy. I'll let you know in a bit. First, let's see if the suit works. Okay. Okay, there it is. That's the suit I just loaded. It is working, it's perfect, it's fine. Now for the troubleshoot options. Uh, if the suit doesn't work for you, the first thing you need to do is check your game version. If you have the Steam version, the suit isn't gonna work, on most cases at least. There's like a 70 to 80% chance it won't work and that's the problem. So in that case, you just have to get a different game version from a torrent or a, uh, a crack I, I don't know well that's how I got mine so since I wanted to install mods on it uh, skins and uh, the steam version wouldn't do so I was forced to get one from a torrent so yeah everything works fine also uh, if you do that if you get a different game version it still doesn't work uh, you need to you need to get a save file where there's every single suit unlocked because in these uh, mods uh, no author says which uh, skin it replaces so it's kind of, it's really hard to find out actually I doubt there's a way to find out which suit the mod replaces so better to have it all just in case. Uh, 
like I do, like I have a 100% safe game file, if I'm not mistaken. Episode is unlocked, so even whatever mod I get, like whatever suit it replaces, I will have it because I have all suits in the wardrobe guild, just like you saw. Except the DLC ones, where uh, I doubt any, I doubt there are any mods that replace the DLC costumes. They only replace the costumes that you can get from playing the game. Now, enough of that, enough of Spider-Man. There is one more thing to tell you if the mod still doesn't work after the save game, after the, the, the different game version, which is, let me close that. You have to go to text mod, right click it, properties, compatibility, and you need to run this program and compatibility mode for Windows 7 and also run this program as an administrator click apply click OK also we're not done on that part yet you have to go to your Spider-Man Spider-Man directory when you install the game again here and you need to find the game.exe properties compatibility and do the same thing, run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7 and run this program as an administrator. Mostly the problems are located in, in this part, like these are the most common reasons the mods don't work. So you have to try these. Uh, if you are still having problems after these three solutions I gave you, just leave a comment below and uh, I'll try to figure something out. Thank you for watching today, thank you for watching my tutorial. This will be my last tutorial. Please, I will include the link in every Spider-Man video I will make from now on. Thanks for watching, let me know down below in the comments if that video helped you. Peace.